Hi guys, so me and Vanessa are back and now we're going to be doing her makeup because we did her hair in my last tutorial. And the first thing that I'm doing is applying some Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer to her skin. This is going to help her skin look really moisturized. As you can see, it looks great after I applied that lotion. And also, all of the products are going to be in my description box if I don't mention them in this video. To do her eyebrows, I'm using a NYX pencil and espresso. And I'm really, really using a really light hand just to fill in where I feel like her eyebrows could use a little bit more, um, what do you call it? A little bit more texture, I guess you can say. So I'm not doing like the typical Instagram brow, filling it in completely at the bottom, at the top. No, I'm not doing all that. I'm feathering the hair towards the front of the brows upwards. And in the back, I'm lightly adding some strokes just to like, you know, make it look a little bit more full but as you can see I'm not overdoing it and of course I did the same thing on the other side I also like to use my spoolie throughout the filling process just to make the eyebrows look a little bit more natural and I also extend the eyebrows like I bring them out a little bit closer to the bridge of her nose just so that the eyebrows look a little bit closer together and right now I'm cleaning up her eyebrows with some concealer this is LA girl cosmetics concealer I've been using this concealer since I was probably I don't know 15 16 17 I've been using this forever I don't know like they never go bad to me they always been a really 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 good concealer and I just use that to clean up the eyebrows a little bit I'm not using so much concealer and I do like to make sure that after I clean up the brows I kind of like drag that concealer downwards to make it easier to blend out with like a dense dome shaped brush. Next, I'm taking the same concealer shade and I'm just adding that to the rest of the lids of her eyes. This is going to work as the base for me before I apply eyeshadow. Because it is a lighter shade, it's going to help the eyeshadow pop even more on her skin tone. So I just did that to both eyes and then I blended it out as best as possible, as seamless as possible by using like padding motions. I'm not using circular motions to do that before I go in with my eyeshadow. And I'm only using one eyeshadow shade from a Morphe palette today and I'm popping that shade directly on her eyelid and directly on the crease of her eyes. Once I pat that shade in and I have enough color payoff, then I start using circular motions as I'm doing now and I'm blending out directly on the crease. So I... To add color, I pat it on, like use tapping motions, and to blend it out, I start using circular motions. And I love when eyeshadow is blended from the crease up into the eyebrows in this area. You'll see later why this will help a lot with your nose contour, but I'm just going to let you guys watch me do this to the other eye. The lashes that I'm going to be using today are from my brand House of Ain, and these are in the style Audrey. She's worn them before, um, which is why they were already cut. But while the glue is getting dried down on the eyelash, I do like to go ahead and apply foundation. I'm using a really dense brush to apply this foundation because I'm mixing two different foundations from Black Opal. And with stick foundation, sometimes they could be not hard to blend, but you need like some arm strength to blend them out in a dense brush. So that's what I used. And once I was done with that the eyelashes were nice and tacky I like to have people look down not close their eyes when I put on their lashes and then I pop this on right on her lash line again these lashes are called Audrey from my line you can find this information in my description box and to highlight her face I'm going in with the same shade that you see right underneath the arches of her eyebrows which is toffee and I like to highlight directly underneath the eyes the chin and the forehead. I also do highlight the nose, but I do that after I blend out everything. To blend out the concealer, I like to use a tapered highlighter brush, and you can use a beauty blender for this, but I find that when you use a brush, the concealer looks more full coverage, it looks more bright, and if you want your concealer to have more of a pop to it, then I suggest try using a brush over a beauty blender, because a beauty blender sometimes could soak up that product, which will take some of that color payoff away, um, and if you want it to look bright, 
a brush will probably be better and also when you are blending out with this brush I'm using tapping motions I'm not using circular motions and buffing it into the skin because then it will just look like I'm mixing it around and it'll look patchy so you want to blend out until you cannot see any harsh lines you cannot see a circle of concealer on your forehead you want to blend that line out so blend the whole perimeter of the forehead, blend the whole perimeter of the concealer underneath the eyes. As you can see, I had already blended out the whole perimeter of the concealer on her chin. Like You can't really tell where the concealer starts and where it finishes, and that's really the goal. I also do go back in when I'm done blending out the concealer with my foundation brush that had my excess foundation on it to further blend around the perimeter of where I placed the concealer just so that it could look like the concealer and the foundation are really blending together nicely and seamlessly but I'll let you guys watch this and come back when I'm doing that also if you're somebody who's doing makeup for like clientele a good trick when you're working in the inner corners of somebody's eyes is to have them look up in the opposite direction of the inner corner you're working in so I had her look up and to the right so that I can blend out the concealer in the very inner corner of her eye without agitating her eyes so if that's something that you notice people get teary or you just want to stop them from getting teary before it happens definitely have them look up in a way from where the brush is like concentrating at the time and I like to also drag the excess concealer that's already on this brush underneath her nose like on the cupid's bow area but I don't necessarily like to like slap some concealer on that part of the face because then it just becomes too bright and the face looks really flat to me so when I'm done blending out the concealer with the brush I like to go and smoothing it and smoothing it out one time with the beauty blender and now I'm doing that trick I told you about you take your foundation brush and you go around the concealer I have her smile because the concealer is gonna meet her foundation at her cheeks and around her forehead I like to blend the foundation around the concealer in a circular motion just so you can't really see any harsh lines of where that concealer stops Next, I'm going to highlight down the center of her nose with the same concealer shade and I'm using a small dense domed shade brush to basically pat that concealer in and blend it out. I'm not trying to make the concealer like put it all over the nose. I still want to keep it down the center of her nose and here is when that eyeshadow hack works for your nose contour. Because I bought that eyeshadow up to her eyebrows and in that area now all I have to do is go from a straight line straight from the eyebrows straight from where that eyeshadow ends down the sides of her nose and I'm actually using that same eyeshadow shade as the contour for her nose so you don't necessarily have to have contour products to contour your face you can use eyeshadows you can use bronzers which is what I am going to be using on her cheeks in a little bit and you'll be able to contour the nose that way when you do contour I also like to make sure that I'm not just blending the contour in a straight line down the sides of her nose I also like to get the outer sides of that contour too like right here just to make sure that everything looks nice and blended to set the highlighted parts of her face I'm using a MAC powder this is MAC mineralized skin finish in dark and I'm just using a, another tapered highlighter brush to press that shade into the highlighted areas of her face this is going to help set the face so that it's not like watery and sticky and movable but it's also going to help keep the brightness in these areas because this shade that I'm applying to the concealed areas right now is way lighter than her skin tone it's not like white and ashy, but it will still help in keeping her bright. And then I mix two Laura Mercier loose powders, translucent, and I believe banana. I'll have it in the description box. And then I also pat that right on top of the last powder that I patted on top of these areas. So this area is really going to be um, set and it's also going to be bright. I also added this powder mixture right underneath her nose even though I didn't add concealer directly to that area and I like to run this powder over the eyebrows just to make the eyebrows look even more natural and not so harsh because I just I don't feel harsh eyebrows bold eyebrows at all whatsoever 
and to conceal down the center of her nose I'm using that same domed brush that I used to blend out the concealer and I'm literally just dropping the powder directly down the center of her nose so now that I set the highlighted parts of her face with powder I'm using a powder that is her skin tone which is also another MAC powder but in dark deep and I'm patting that over the rest of her face that is not concealed so I like to take this product and I like to pat it onto the areas that I need it to be on and then then I like to use circular motions basically to blend it in and I like to blend it directly on the cheek as well right where the concealer would meet the um, rest of the foundation because that's just the art of makeup you have to blend everything so that when you take pictures with flash or even not flash it doesn't look a hot mess and it you know I'm not for that at all so now I'm contouring her face but I'm not necessarily using a contour powder I'm using a bronzer powder from Fenty I have her suck in her cheeks and wherever that indentation line comes in at I know to keep this bronzer shade above that line and I like to add the bronzer from her ear close to her nose not necessarily touching her nose but close to her nose and I also add this around the concealer on her forehead to clean that bronzer up I'm using a Juvia's Place setting powder it's so pretty on deep skin tones like look at that it looks so so pretty and I have her suck in her cheeks again and with a very light hand not a lot of powder because I don't want any flashback I swipe that powder from her ear basically to her mouth and then I swipe it downwards just to blend it out and immediately I take the brush that had her skin tone powder on it and I swipe it away if you are kind of like a OCD perfectionist like me I went back in with that um, Juvia's Place powder and I cleaned up that line a little bit more just so it can meet the same line on the other side and it looks more symmetrical so now that you have cleaned up the concealer you could feel free to go ahead and add a little bit more bronzer which I did I love this Fenty powder it looks so like orangey and I believe orange peachy shades look great on dark skin now I am blushing up her cheeks and I'm literally just dabbing that blush from the top of her cheekbones towards the inner part of her cheeks near her nose so first I like to pat the product in like I do a lot of other products I pat it in first and then I go in and I buff it in with circular motions like this and if you know me you know I'm obsessed with blush I think blush makes you look like a sweet girl like very romantic like very girly and I love all things girly people who don't like blush I believe are like serial killers and I also put some of that blush on the forehead I don't think it does anything for it but I still do it every time and then I am sweeping away the powder that was just sitting on her nose with the same brush that had her regular face powder on it. Next, I am taking some loose highlighter. I don't think you have to be excessive with highlighter. You don't have to glow so, so bright. I hate that. You just have to look glazy. You just have to look, you know, like when you turn your head, you get like a, a cute little you know sprinkle of shine on your inner cheeks or on your top cheeks and in the middle of your eyes you have like this cute little glitter you know shine but I don't think it has to be excessive if you notice with my makeup style I like natural makeup I don't like doing the most the only thing I probably do the most with is lip gloss and baby hair everything else no ma'am no thank you Right now, I'm popping this same highlighter with the fan brush on the very tops of her cheeks. And as you can see, I'm very subtle with it. I like for you to turn your face and for the light to hit this part of your face. And then you see this cute little shine. Like, you look so glassy. You look like a glazed donut. You look, you look wonderful. You look like skin, but you look so bright. But I don't like for you to see me... 100 miles away and then I look like the sun you can't even look at me because I'm like got so much highlighter on I don't like that and I also like to add this highlighter right on the cupid's bow I think it's so cute when the top of your lip is just like you know look glittery like that and I'm lining her lips with a brown lip liner from the hair store I don't think it has a brand but I'll try to find it and put it in my description box anyway next I'm using a lip brush and I'm adding this Kylie 
um, lipstick to her lips. I believe this was part of the very first collection, so I don't even know if she have it anymore. But I add a little bit of lipstick, and then I have her basically kiss her lips together really fast to blend it in. And then I am adding some clear gloss on top of that. I like to blend the gloss as close to the lip liner as possible because the lip liner has to be blended in with the lipstick. And then I go ahead and add some more lip liner on the outer corner of her lips just to give her a more pouty look before I continue to add more gloss and blend in the lip liner with the lipstick even more. And I felt like this shade was a little bit too bright on her for what I liked. So I ended up taking that lip liner pencil and literally coloring over the peachy part of her lips with that brown pencil just to mute it down a little bit. And the same exact eyeshadow that I added to her eyes that I contour her nose with, I am using that at the very bottom of her um, eyes on her, what is it called, on her waterline. And after I pop that color in, I'm just pressing it in initially. I'm not dragging it or nothing. I'm pressing it in. After I press it in, I take a small pencil brush that is fluffy. And then I smoke it out on her bottom waterline. I'm not adding any black or anything. I just want her to look really sultry, really bronzy. And I think that doing that really adds a cute pop to the look. And next, I'm setting her face with my favorite setting spray is the mac fix plus in original i take the back of the beauty blender just to lightly press that setting spray into the skin so it can soak up all the moisture and basically we were done what do you guys think okay so i'm a sociopath i went right back in and i started blending that lip liner in some more i went closely to the lip line just to blend that into the peachy shade even further and i feel like it looks so much better after i finish with that hold on look okay look doesn't it look so much better it do but before anybody asks no i do not take clients for hair or makeup you guys can find this hair tutorial on my channel as well as this wig is from my brand house of vane as well you can't be gang and then have flashback when you take pictures of your makeup in the dark. So we decided to put it to the test and this is how it looked. So do you guys think I should be doing more makeup tutorials on my channel or not? Let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching this makeup tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Bye brats.